timu.com and prepper survival medical gear is it worth it are they good quality products and really is it the same as just buying from amazon i mean they're all made in china a lot of the products seem to be exactly the same give or take a name change bezos is a twat anyway and who cares which billionaire gets the sales if you save yourself some money instead of buying off amazon then that's a good deal so when it comes to quality items for prepping and things like that is timu an option can you buy stuff on there that is actually going to work for you and become useful and also there's a lot of stuff here that isn't related to prepping so much um, i have a lot of stuff that i've ordered i have about five bags worth of gear to go through and so i'm probably going to break this down into smaller parts this video otherwise it's going to be like a five hour video um, but i will give the price i paid for it some of the stuff that i bought from timu i've actually already purchased something similar from amazon that looks basically the same and so i, I can check a couple of those things out um, and give you an idea of what i think of the quality on them okay so first things it comes then all of the products I've gotten have come in these bags like these Timu white bags with Timu on it counter to the adverts which show a nice box that they all arrive in and they're handed to you by some dude from wherever uh, no what you get is a bag like this with everything jammed into it so they, they do not come in protective packaging at all uh, so we'll get into this and we'll check out what we've got in this bag so this is uh, the most recent bag I've got and it's a fairly hefty bag um, so what I'm probably gonna do is just move this off camera and just grab stuff out of it and show you the stuff as we go along so first item is a what's that? it's like a molly harness type thing um, what is this let me pull it out of the packaging. I can't see anything, it's just reflecting. All right, this one actually is in decent packaging. Um, so you can see there, Molly attachments for Molly pouch, Molly mag pouch, Molly backpack, and other Molly accessories. Modular system, so you can see what it does. It just connects through the Molly and then you just connect it to your um, backpack more easily. It's like a quick release system. Uh, so it comes in that hard plastic case which is quite nice you get a couple of little clips and then you've got the main body system which will let's just work ah okay so it's a pull pin thing so you do that and it releases the plate so you actually have two, I think they've given you two different plates that you can use on this. So that one looks like it takes the pin as well, but isn't flat. Ah, oh, there you go. So one's flat and one's not. So you've got two different attachments, two different um, back pieces. It's pretty decent quality, like the plastic I mean, you probably snap those off fairly easily if you're not careful. But they... It seems quite good. Like, quality-wise, it's not too bad. I'm not sure. I'll have to use it and see. So it just clips back in like that and locks in. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't break. Uh, it seems, I guess if you want a quick release molly, you know, if you want maybe a first aid kit and you don't want to thread it through your whole molly system and you, you know, you attach it to, you attach it to this one and then you attach that to the bag and then when you want to get the first aid kit off, you just pull it and snap it off. That's actually quite cool. I like that. That's quite cool. Quality is decent. I can't see it breaking super, super easy unless you're like really heavy handed with it. Um, I'm still not sure what these bits are for. I'll work them out at some point though. But yeah, that's it's not bad, not a bad product. Um, I think this product was 9.88 online on Timu. Um, one piece, 
black molly attachment for molly pouches. So this one here is a bag, it's a first aid bag. So it's actually um, 29.74, oops, $29.74 for a first aid bag. I actually thought it was much bigger than this. It looks way bigger on the website, like in the pictures. The pictures make it look like it is a full duffel. This is not a full duffel. Um, <laughs> when, I, when, I, um, when I bought it, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. They do actually have the size online on the pictures. I just didn't look at them. So it's about 35 centimeters long and about, what's that? 30 by 20 by 18. So 35, 20, 18. Uh, so it's got a little, oh, there we go. First aid kit on top. Um, it's got reflective strips, a couple of pouches on the ends. It's got a carry strap, like a shoulder strap, as well as a couple of carry handles, like front and back carry handles for the strap up. It's got nice reflective stuff all over it. So you'll be able to catch it in the light and see where it is if you shine a torch around in the back of your car or something. I'll just take this shoulder strap off this one. Good um, metal, metal clips as well, not plastic, which is nice. And the D-rings are also metal, or whatever you call these rings. They're metal as well, so that's good. Uh, it's got you know velcro inner like a velcro lining in there so the velcros the velcros only the sides so you can take the whole center compartments out and there so you got a half size and two quarter size compartments for stuff there you can probably throw stuff down the back and front as well maybe like taller flat stuff um, like bandages or something and that way they won't slide underneath because there's no velcro underneath here it's just open so you could lose stuff underneath the center compartment if you're not careful but what you could do to get around that is to put your own velcro on it so double-sided velcro and just like tape it down and then I mean It'll make it harder to get it out, but at least it's you know you're not going to lose anything underneath there, which would be quite useful. It's got a mesh um, top, and the top is actually padded. Like that's there's probably a centimeter of foam padding or something in there, so that's quite nice. Um, so you could have, I guess, more fragile type stuff in the top there, and it'd be a bit more protected. Your couple of compartments on the side. Ah, they actually have a load of supplies, which I didn't realize was in this. What was it? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollar bag. I thought that was expensive for a bag. So this actually has. So this has actually quite a lot of stuff in it for thirty bucks. So. I was going to give this a shit rating because of the size because the size is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a much bigger bag um, I might just quickly dump these compartments out one at a time and we can have a look at what's actually received in here as well so you've got a load of bandages with an expiry date of 31st, 25, 31st of December 2025 and a manufacturing date of 2023. I didn't know bandages actually expired. Um, so those are a sort of like D-shaped, bow-shaped bandages, uh, band-aids, first aid, plasters, whatever you want to call them. Um, these are the, I think they're the knuckle ones, aren't they, that have those, that shape. So there's five of each of them. That is a sterile gauze swab. We have the obligatory Mylar emergency blanket, and this one is 130 centimeters by 210 centimeters. We have the triangle bandage for sprains and stuff. We've got a lot of swabs, 100, 
A hundred pieces of swabs. Hundred swabs. Quite cool. Uh, we have another gauze. More gauze. More bandages. Normal size bandages. Uh, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 of them. We got burn dressing. It's quite cool. Is that open? No. Okay. It's just folded. So that's quite cool. That's a 40 centimeter by 60 centimeter burn dressing. Uh, got some gloves there. So that's one pouch. And then the other side has a lot. Little bits and stuff in here. Uh, so this side has the bandages of different sizes. Yep, different size bandages. Just a load of those. They're all different sizes. So there's like two of each of those, different sizes. Actually, there's three of that one. So seven and a half by four and a half. There's three of. Five by four and a half. There's three of. And then there's one that is ten centimeters by four and a half centimeters. We got a bit of rubber with a elastic band on it. So it's a um, for wrapping around the arm. Tie off. We got some tape. Got some tape. Got some tape. Got safety pins. Um, got a lot of them as well, actually. They don't feel very strong, though. We've got an emergency whistle. <whistles> which is actually super loud. And a pair of cheapy shears. So, all up. That is not a bad bag. Um, oh man, that whistle was super loud. Oh, I missed a piece. And we actually have some pliers. Um, pliers. Pliers. Um, tweezers. Plastic tweezers. So that is actually $30, probably worth it. Especially if you. Even with organizing these pouches with a load of that stuff from the side pouches, that gives you tons of room to add tourniquets, Israeli bandages, you know, other stuff that you would need, quick clot, whatever. Um, maybe some, if you have it in your truck and you go to the range a lot, you can have it or go hunting a lot. You know, you have it as a, a hunt bag or a range bag, and you have your chest seals and stuff in there in case there's an accident on the range. Not bad. I like that. That's actually a really good value bag. Next we have, this is just a tarp. Or I think they call it a survival blanket. Um, and this was, yeah, heavy survival blanket. And this was $25.97. So we got some little pegs for it. It's got the shiny silver on the inside and the orange on the outside. It's actually it's actually really decent material. A super thick material. And it's twenty five ninety seven. It's good quality, good quality tarp. The size of that is I'm not gonna open it all up obviously because you won't be able to see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, the size of that is 150 centimeters by 210 centimeters, so 2.1 meters by 1.5 meters. That's not bad. So 20. Oh, it's actually gone down since I bought it. It's now 22.35. It's super annoying. So we have another. Oh, damn it! I bought two of these bloody bags. Oh, I didn't notice that. Maybe they were only 15 bucks. I bought, bought two by mistake. Uh, no, I actually only bought one and they sent me two. So that's a bargain. So these bags actually cost me $15 each rather than 
thirty dollars each because I got one for free. So that's fucking, that's brilliant. So that means I've got one for the wife's car and for my car now. So that's great. Love that, Timu. You're the best. Thank you. Um, I also have a one of those survival blankets in green as well. Um, I actually did buy the green version of it as well. Um, I didn't get that one for free, unfortunately. But I won't take it out because it's the same as the orange one, just green. Um, this is a. What is this? This is a uh, protective cover. Protective cover. It's fairly generic. I think this is a mag case. It is. Um, I think I got it for. It looks quite small, actually. Um, just let me get a mag and test it. All right, so this is a mag holder, I think, is what I wanted it for. Oh, it does fit them. Okay, so that's my Walther 9mm mag. That fits in there. I didn't notice it had love hearts on it. That's a bit different. Uh, the 22, like that's from my GSG. A little loose, but it should be fine. And this is the this is the nine mil from my M and P two point steel or metal, and that's good. That's a tight fit on that one, so that's good. A bit tighter fit. So yeah, that's what I got that for. I think is as a mag case. Um, I just wanted to test it out and see how it was. The quality of the materials good. All these products, all the quality on the material has been great so far. I haven't had anything that I would be like, oh my god, that's crap. Um, so, yeah, this is quite nice. It's got elasticated sides, which is quite cool. So that was actually $5 for that little... Oh, they've, they've listed it as a magazine pouch slash multi-tool pouch. I don't know what these are. What does this say? So this is a made in China one piece orange. That's awesome. Ah, yeah, so these were for, again, for my truck. Um, I bought these as a, they're a clip down for the truck vessel, like, um, what do you call those monkey grip things? Um, but they're metal and they were orange, so I thought they were cool. Uh, so they're for the holding tools and stuff in your truck. So you clamp them in and then clip it down like that, I think. So when the actual thing's got like stuff in it, it clamps down really hard and so it'll clamp. But I don't know if I like the fact that goes behind. Oh, there you go, it's like that. So if you've got the wall of your truck like that and then you clamp it down, you've got your, your thing in there. Um, like a magazine. Hang on. So if we do that, if we put the, that there, do that, and then clamp it in the wall of the truck, it could flick open if the. Uh, oh no, yeah, so if it's flat down, it just rests against there. But when you don't have a truck wall there, it actually bends further back, so it looks weird. But it actually goes like that. So it's just cool, like hard rubber, like it's a tough rubber, not hard. It's tough rubber that is a little, quite a little bit stretchy, not too bad, metal D-ring, and this thing feels decent. I mean, it's solid as, and it's orange, so that's cool. So that's not bad, I like that. So I'm going to put that, probably have like an axe or something um, in the back of the car or back of the truck rather. And uh, next thing is, oh, grab two, is a black box. Actually, I think it's two black boxes. Cheek gun, cheek gun, chicken.
Again, description, black. Oh, I know what this is. This is for my safe where I'm gonna put my, sort of the guns, the handguns, to have the handguns up to right instead of laying down higgledy peely like I've got them at the moment. So I've got quite a small pistol um, safe on top of the rifle safe. So not a lot fits like from a, you know the storage point of view, the organization point of view into that actual safe. So I'm hoping that this will be the perfect size to just put in and rest the handguns in them. And it looks like this is chicken stuff is the sticky bit that goes on here. So you can probably do it like that. So it's on top, so but that's super tall, so I don't think that'd be you'd have them pointing upwards if that was the case. Or like I'm probably gonna have to do, which is that, because I've got a short safe. And then the handguns just go like that. Handguns. Um, yeah, so that's quite cool. Um, that didn't cost very much at all because it's just two pieces of foam that have been cut to the right size and shape. Uh, so that cost me gun safe cabinet foam rack, gun storage accessories. The descriptions are amazing. Um, yeah, that was actually $17. I feel a little bit ripped off for that, to be honest. It's two pieces of foam, but it's better than having to do it myself. So. 17 bucks, that's fine. I mean, I'm still up because I've got a free medical kit, so who cares? Um, yeah, so not bad. It's an essential thing I needed. I said essential. <laughs> my, yeah, my wife would probably have a different opinion on what's essential and what isn't. Um, so yeah, that, but it's something I need for organizing the thing. It does give you, I'm not sure why it's got four screws. A screwdriver. I mean, I guess you could screw through there, but if you got double-sided tape, I don't see why you would bother. So I'm not too sure what the screws and the screwdriver are for. They're pretty hefty screws as well. They're like two-inch screws. So I imagine they are to go through. Probably are supposed to go through or something, but. Like I say, you've got double-sided tape here. I don't see why you would need to. Seems random. And it's not like it's going to be under a lot of pressure or anything or weight. It's just sitting in the safe. Hey, guys. We actually have started up a website as well um, to complement all the stuff we post on Rumble and um, YouTube. Uh, warrior-peons.com is the uh, URL. Um, you can go over there and just check out some memes and uh, reviews and articles, uh, news, stuff like that. Uh, things we think are interesting in the world. Um, and we're hoping to build a bit more of a community there. So go check it out, warrior-peons.com. All right, this one, we just bought some hemostatic gauze. Um, is it going to be any good? Who knows? I may open one of these up. Let me see, let me see how much I paid for this first. Before I, uh, okay, so I paid six, uh, five forty-nine for this. So it's not expensive. It's cheap. I guess five dollars for hemostatic gauze, and it is three inches wide um, and it's three inches wide. It doesn't tell me how long it is. Um, ah, it's 59 inches long, so 1.5 meters by seven, uh, seven centimeters or three inches by 59 inches. So not bad, one and a half meters to jam in something. Now, made in China, yes, but apparently I found out that the majority of medicines and medical gear is also made in China. So when you're buying from some companies, you're probably buying Chinese stuff anyway. So why pay $15 for something when you can pay five? All right, we're getting down to the last couple of items. And oops, 
couple of these are the same but different. So this is just a couple of pouches that are the same pouch, different colours. And because the blacks, oh no, you can see black quite well. Yeah, they're quite small. They're like the size of your hand. Um, so these are more for. I think I got these because I like the camo one actually, to be honest. And then I just threw in a black one just as for the hell of it. Um, Zips pretty good. Zips feel smooth and they feel pretty sturdy. The material itself is what you would expect from any pouch you buy on online. I can't really see anything that's like, you know, any, anything from Amazon or something like that. Opens up all the way. Ah, oh, this is why I like these pouches. This is why I think this is why I bought these because they actually open all the way rather than like the half open, which is super annoying and you can't get to stuff down the bottom properly. Whereas with this one, it's more easily to organize. It's like a little mini backpack. I like that, that's cool. So I thought that was quite cool. Like I say, quality is decent. You got one pouch there, it's got um, the Molly. A couple of plastic D rings. It's got these tiny little clips to. <laughs> this is literally like a little mini backpack. It's so cool. Uh, then you got your mesh organizer on that side, and it's only those two pouch pouches there. There's nothing else inside of it that's for organization. So you've got those, and then the inside but you got this little pouch here as well and this one here on the top so quite nice quite decent it's definitely something you could attach this to your dogs um, if you've got a dog harness or something you could probably attach that to the dog's harness have things like dog poo bags and stuff in there and you know some little bits and, bits and pieces um, yeah I, don't know. I, I just bought them because I thought they were quite cool because uh, they look like backpacks but they're teeny tiny. I didn't actually buy them thinking they were going to be full size backpacks. I knew they were small. Um, and they're only $10 each. So on, on the description, they say it's a tool storage pouch, which I guess, yeah, you could do knife and stuff in the top. Um, does that fit in the top? Let me look. So yeah, the O knife fits in the top quite easily. So. Good, 10 bucks each, worth it. And then we have another random package that's white, and this is something that's orange. I have a feeling it's the same thing we just looked at, actually. I think I've got. Yeah, so it's another two of those monkey grip things. Uh, this one's got screws, so I won't bother looking at that. And the thing I dropped was I'm planning on hanging a load of photos and so, or pictures. So I decided to buy a bunch of these and they were cheap as chips. So I paid $4.39 for those and there's 55 pieces. So, but I think I've ri they ripped me off because there's not 55 hooks it's 55 pieces so that includes the pins so and these are double pins and these are single pin ones so there's actually less hooks than uh, than I thought there's probably like 20 hooks all up and then the rest are pins and but they do have little tiny ones and medium so it's a good it's a little box full of mixed hangers not bad it's, I mean the hangers you can't go wrong with them um, you go to Bunnings or which is our hardware store here in Australia and you'll probably find they're exactly the same ones but Bunnings will charge you twice the price. Uh, so that's the first bag. My favourite thing in the bags, honestly my free first aid kit and first aid bag is the best thing in that bag but my favourite thing is not for free that, um, that they sent by accident and I paid for are these. I think these are awesome. I think these are so fun. 
Um, practical use, yeah, I'll find something for them. Like I say, probably attach them to my dogs so they can carry some of their own crap um, and some spare bits and pieces. Maybe a little dog first aid, <coughs> first aid kit. Maybe some sort of snake bite kit. So some compression bandages and stuff in there. Let me know what you think of this haul and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for liking and subscribing. If you haven't already, please do so. Stay safe, stay based.